This would be a lot cooler if it had drugs in it. Would yeah, it? I have one of those. These are my drugs. You have one of these with drugs in it? Yeah. That'd be cool. All right. These are drugs to me. Those are my drugs of choice. <laughs> candy, 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 candy. If you could only have one candy for the rest of your life, but every time you ate it, someone you loved passed away, what candy would it be? Then I would shouldn't it, hate that. Shouldn't it be a bad one so that I have like one a year if somebody really pisses me off? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good question? <laughs> no. Oh, what about, okay. <laughs> I, my answer, Skittles. Um... Because there's every a million Skittle. of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would fall in love with the world and then I would slowly kill them one by one. And in the process, I'd get to eat 7 billion Skittles. Do you get to pick how it goes or is it like super random? Got to be random. Yeah, it's right? bird attack every oh, time. You said it's somebody you love. It's hawk attack. Yeah, but it's someone you love. Someone so it random be, that you love. It mm -hmm. could be your best friend one day. Well, love. I don't really love my friends. I understand. I, I look at them and I say... Very good. Mm -hmm. I kind of treat them like most people treat their dogs. Sure. Yeah. Where I'm like, oh, look at him. Look at him. He's going to tire himself out. Then I feed him some trash and he loves it. And he sleeps for 18 nom, hours. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I didn't sleep for 18 hours last night. I'll oh, tell you that. Okay. Oh, let's get into let's it. Let's get into it. Let's, let's crawl around in the carcass of this memory. Here we go, Lon. It's going to get weird. Second show. If the second show sucks, <laughs> I'm going to do a flying cross body block. <laughs> I like Corey Holcomb. Corey Holcomb style. <laughs> Uh, I meant to try to Google that and I forgot about it. Oh, it's not online. Okay. He just did it at the DC Improv. Okay. Some guy wasn't laughing and he was like, well, you've been eyeballing me the whole damn show, motherfucker. And the guy was like, well, you ain't making me laugh. He's like, I got something funny for you. And then he just like Christ stared <laughs> <laughs> into the front row. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Legendary. I mean, he has, he's, has my favorite comedy set of all time is him at the Shack All-Star Comedy Jam where he does an abortion act out whoa <laughs> yeah in front of like you know Dwayne wade <laughs> and his sugar boo and garcelle bouveau yeah garcelle bouveau was there famous french clown garcelle bouvet? bouveau bouvets uh no bouvet cover if she's with or he might be with gabrielle union anyway gabrielle union remember her yeah still do remember rosario dawson yeah that made it okay to feel that way <laughs> clerks three Clerks too. Uh Sin City. Yeah. Yeah. Sin City. I yeah, saw Sin City like City. four times in theaters. If I was young when Joker came out, that would have been my Joker. Sure. Yeah. I'm glad I wasn't a kid when Joker came out, or else I would have bought a fucking fedora and fingerless gloves and <laughs> started getting way into like sword culture. <laughs> yeah. Easily. That's a bad move. Oh yeah, you yeah. never did the cause you were you were popular. Comedy and football and acting. Beloved, yeah. So you didn't need... Kind of revered, You honestly. didn't need props. No. You had skills. And yeah, mm -hmm. if you don't have skill... Or if you don't have, like, traditional ki popular kid skills, you have to get into the, the tricks of the trade. Fedora, uh, Green Lantern Ring. Up Close Magic. Lightsaber. Uh-huh, yep. <laughs> Driving, like, a hatchback, but it's, like, spray-painted by all your friends. Classic. Yeah, that's the dirtiest douchebag, sixteen-year-old <laughs> rapist move. Is the spray-painted hand-me-down car? <laughs> huh. You see one of those, and it's like, I'm gonna follow you. Mm -hmm. I'm following you to the hentai hideaway. <laughs> <laughs> His, he goes by like a nickname, like Admiral. <clears throat> it's like you're you're stealing valor. You're sixteen. He's like you're sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> like well played all right can i have my pretzel please can i have my pretzel please you're just gonna repeat me i'm a paying customer i don't own this place there's no customs here mer <laughs> that's how those kids talk i'm not saying it's always good but they so say that's, it so that's where you got that from <laughs> what from your so, act sometimes you sometimes you do that your entire act yeah you just say it with confidence i do and i'm huge and domineering yeah it helps. like ah what did he say last yeah. night that was that's nothing let's not, that's not it break confident. it down <laughs> <laughs> i didn't say anything that was too silly to get away with Mm. <laughs> Did I? I don't know if you no. guys can guess where we're at, but uh, there's a couple clues in the shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, last night was great. Uh, first show was one of my favorite shows. It was very fun. Ever, yeah. 
It was up there. Yeah. Top 100 shows of all time. I, You know what, dude? In all honesty, I'd put it probably in my top 100 as well. It's very fun. I, I wasn't feeling good. <coughs> I went up there. You, you know what it did? You know what, you know what it was? Me having a really good set. Well, you having a really good set, but you, also you paddling my ass as soon as you got off. <laughs> and then I just started giggling, and I walked up there giggling. Yeah. And, uh, and I got to tell Sharpie on stage, Lund just paddled my ass. That was fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got walked on with this like weird giggly energy, and then I fucking rained blows upon them for 18 minutes. <laughs> yeah, before you ran out of, <laughs> before I ran ran out out of juice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, that kid I also up front, think, I think, was developmentally disabled, and I didn't realize no, it until Garrett, I mean, he wasn't. He, he was fine. He didn't know what a basket was, and he didn't know his name. And he was chewing on his thumb. And I went to give him blood. A, yeah, <laughs> he went to give him a handshake, and he handed him a pen. Yeah. Oh. I said, I said, me and Garrett here live in a hot air balloon, don't we, Garrett? You love the basket. And he went, what's a basket? And I was like, all right, Garrett, he's untouchable, folks. <laughs> he's undeniable. There's no one like Garrett, right, Garrett? And he went. Who's Garrett? And I was like, oh, look at him go. <laughs> Let Garrett cook. And because when you realize that, then you have to like <laughs> tap dance as if you knew the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> as if it was a Machiavellian masterstroke <laughs> and not just an atomic whoopsie that could ruin your career. <laughs> yeah. Then I went for a handshake and he handed me a pen. And I was like, there's no one better than Garrett. You know? <laughs> Round of applause for Garrett. And when they clapped, he started flinching and biting. And, arr, arr, arr. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah that, were, that great first show was followed by a what the hell second show. It wasn't even that bad. You just decided that they were dog shit, and you walked out. Oh, they were dog shit, and you like. And then I made them, them. I turned them into non dog shit. Yeah, I turned them into dog shit salad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it ended up being fine. They were just one of those. It was like uh, almost every crowd when we did hilarities in Cleveland. We were oh, in that God. small room, and they just didn't laugh at anything until halfway through my set. And we had a couple different mm -hmm. hosts. They were uh, fine to, you know, to okay. It wasn't really them. And then the beginning of my set sometimes is like the strong part. And then I like limp to the finish line. <laughs> yeah. And that always sucks because ideally, you know, my closers I think are funnier than the beginning, but it just depends on the You're crowd. You're like a big bear who has to fight a bunch of wild dogs. Yeah. And then by like, you know, like up front, you're like killing dogs left and right, argh, ripping their throats out. But then they get a bite out of you here and there. They claw you a little bit. And by minute mm -hmm. 20, you're just like, there's an eyeball hanging out of the socket. <laughs> <laughs> your tongue is half connected to your, your rest of your mouth. Your claws are all broken. You're just like, put me down. Put me down. <laughs> Finish me. <laughs> Send me to hell. <laughs> I had a good run. <laughs> I killed a lot of dogs in my day. And then Garrett's like, you weren't running. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no they uh yeah well i just saw that they were like i don't know yeah they weren't laughing and i was like uh-uh we're not doing this i'm just gonna i'm not just gonna wear it so i fucking <laughs> addressed it pointed it out wearing it That's dominated the new thing everyone dominated them it's not new i think nova said says it i think dr kev says it well i just saying less <laughs> yeah but you said last night that chris wore it and that made me laugh a lot <laughs> <laughs> made one of us laugh a lot yeah <laughs> well like i said chris sharp and by the way has nothing oh yeah we didn't we've been bitching we that we don't intro him so people can't follow him it's chris sharp and tear good luck spelling it dipshits <laughs> I've been telling people it's like sharpen yeah. a tear, like you're crying because you're cut by a blade because you need to sharpen your tears. And yeah, you, sure. you both were like, don't say that. Well, well, the first time <laughs> I was like, what do you what do you mean? Like, that's just more confusing. But it is like some context, whatever. And it's totally little mnemonic device. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're a demonic device. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> you're like oh, a dildo look, that's 6.66 6, 6, 6 inches. I can give myself a little bit of a menacing shadow. And then I come into the light. There's nothing menacing about me. I am just a dollop of unrisen dough. Look, <laughs> they put the sprinkles on the cupcake before they put it in the oven. <laughs> Gross. But yeah, this, I'm, I'm bad. This is a great <laughs> setup. Bad, thank, God bad we, boy. thank God we were able to uh, record in here so that we didn't have to do another no AC, three to a bed, <laughs> fucking... Sweat sock dickhead party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this it was is a little bit nicer. When I was kneeling on the edge of the bed like I was praying. Listen to the Patreon episode that uh, hopefully has come out if Becker puts down the Whippet device. It has because I've been called something by somebody, a fucking cuck or a lib bitch or whatever. Already? Yes. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a limp bitch. <laughs> a wet slut. Nathan Lund. He loves Cause Biden. Because of, of the nudity thing. Yeah, because yeah. of Biden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I want to see my nephew's dick. You know what? No one brought it up. Also, weird slurp. Yeah. Oh, no. The, people love it. They like the the eating and the drinking, the the burping and the okay. farting. They well, you know how they say they like how they feel like they're in the room. Sure, taking ASMR. A, taking a big swig of something mm -hmm. makes Let's it feel know. like you're in my mouth. Sure. Yeah, they like to pretend like they live in our mouths, and that. Uh, <laughs> mm. Yeah, our ears are like their mm. portholes to the world, and they can look out and they can. That's say, some good coffee. This coffee is good, it's and I'm one of the guys smells really good. Yeah, I wish you guys. You, why did you make me feel bad? I didn't know that my coffee didn't work. Well, I'm just really surprised that for a man who lives on the road, you didn't know how a Keurig works, because they are in every hotel room that I've ever been in. You think I'm staying in hotels? Where do you stay when you're on the road? I stay at the resort. I stay at the Dana. Mm. <laughs> the worst resort in all of San Diego. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty pumped when <laughs> me too, uh, on dude. my drive down, you, you sent me a text that said, we are right on the water. Yeah. And then uh, to get there and find out that on the water means in a marina where <laughs> you can't get into that water. Yeah. And you have to walk or drive yep. a substantial amount to get mm -hmm. into the ocean water. Well, However, thought... nice view. Not great view. You get to see all those boats. Wonderful view. It's And it's you love magic. marinas. You told me yesterday you're like marina guy because you think it'll make your dad love you. That's basically it. That's how you broke. It was less <laughs> direct yesterday. I uh, kind of yeah. I think yeah. that I like marinas because I th assume that my dad also does. I would never assume my dad to like anything aquatic. Interesting. Yeah, he's a, Not land, a waterman. He's a land guy. My dad likes canyons. He likes a good old fashioned tall cactus. Mm -hmm. Like remember when we were why. driving through Mexico and I was I'm like, tall. my dad would love these cactuses. You tall loved cactus. them so bad. I was lost because in your dad sauce. liked them. Yeah. See, there you have it. And I was it was like me I'm being also, surrounded by a, marinas. You talked to me about tattoos earlier. I'm gonna, probably going to get a tattoo of a big, tall cactus. Wow. It's on the list. So you're copying me again. Tattoo cool. two. Giant cactus. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I don't, I don't know. Save it for four. Oh, really? What should I get for two? You should probably get your girlfriend's name. <laughs> She's fiance. my fiance. You Whatever. Idiot. She's I a fiance. keep up with all these fucking girls going in and out of your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Just a revolving door of young hole in there. <laughs> How old is uh That's Renee, none of Renee. your business. How old is okay, what's hey, her that's ass? Fine. She's thirty one years old. Holy shit, and you're forty? Yeah. Whoa. That's right. Whoa, my man. Let's put a couple more candles on that cake, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Celebratory. And you when you you met her, you said fifteen years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that's mm -hmm. That's what we call grooming. Yeah, but you didn't you didn't consummate it until fourteen years ago. So, come on now. You didn't consomme. You didn't dip your burrito taco. <laughs> yeah. didn't, didn't beef it. Yeah, I until waited recently. until everything was on the up and up, and then I went down. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> you know five, four, three, two, one. Happy birthday! <laughs> You're 16, get over here. No. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah. Come on. When she was 16, I was going through terrible life crises. Oh, yeah. You were fucking wearing it, dude. Yeah, you were trying to, sell, it you're trying to was... sell your teeth for yeah. party drugs. <laughs> Holy shit. You were 23. That's when you met me. Yeah, dude. You were 24. That's when I was really doing, that's when I started doing comedy. Yeah. You came over, you bought a bunch of opium, you left. I told my friend, some old guy came over and bought all that <laughs> fake opium. We're rich. Hell yeah. yeah. And then I woke up naked on my floor. Completely nude. Completely nude to a bunch of hippies making hash in my, <laughs> I woke up and my roommate uh, had invited a couple of weirdos over and they were making hash in my living room where I was. <laughs> where you had passed out. Yes. I woke up yeah. and was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and he was like, what's up, dude? <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then they put on the black crows and, and finished making their oh, hair. They kept doing The one roommate. Yeah, Cody Sizzle. Who died. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. He's, he's gone. Yeah. He was so would, cool, he died. We would go over there. Mm -hmm. or I, I, never, I was there. never allowed over there. And we would hang out <laughs> over there. And Cody was a fucking trip, man. Yeah, he was an animal. You never knew what he was going to be up to. It was going to be something crazy. Yeah. I came that one day, I, <laughs> I woke up and I came out of my room and he had painted all over the apartment, but not like cool painting, really bad, like I'm fucked up at night, 
just like little triangles or dots all over the place on cabinets all over the fucking place and i was Is like Alex oh my god your apartment yeah just getting it just like what the fuck and I was walking back to my room pretty pissed off, and he painted all over the back of my <laughs> door. I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and then I wasn't mad anymore. I was like, yeah, he knew. He pre- knew. That's pretty good. <laughs> what are you so up, pissed about? That's fun. Punchline. It was fun, but you know when you're not like, you wake up and somebody else has uh, defiled your stuff, you want to be a part of the defiling. Bro, I've woken up so many times in the strange rock and roll group homes I've lived in where everything, like the furniture is on the ceiling somehow. I the mean, dog is now a cat. There was no rules. The Manson family did that in Helter Skill, or Creepy Crawling. They'd somehow, I guess, glue mm-hmm. furniture to the ceiling. Our favorite move the walls. Would party is to flip the furniture over in a house. That'd be crazy. Flip, flip it over. Flip it over. Mm-hmm. All of it. Yeah. Because the kid whose house we're partying at, we terrorized him into his bedroom, and then we blocked it. <laughs> so now he's just trapped in there, <laughs> and we're out here in the wine cellar just enjoying raising his, hell. Enjoying his parents' yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah, we took a guy's tires off his car one time and rolled them around the living room carpet. <laughs> just ruined it. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. You're, you're, you were a bad guy. We were bad guys. Mm-hmm. You guys fed off of each other's feral instincts well we just go to parker and be like oh cool it's a pussy party no girls allowed and then just like bully a boy and make literally make him flinch you know pants him shove him (laughs) and ruin their home bully it was bad i was a child if you were 21 no i'm talking like 14 15 16 (laughs) yeah i know i learned empathy at a very early age same i did a lot of my bullying very young and then got out of that because you were in some kind of cult. Cult. Um, mm-hmm. We don't need to go back through that. <laughs> yeah, it's not even funny We've anymore. covered that. It's not funny. Been All the people that. I've met that were in that cult with you, mm-hmm. total losers. <laughs> 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 you, don't, you don't talk to any of them, right? Yeah, yeah. Mark. Oh, cool. What? Mark, Mark Lee. He what? Was, he was in the cult? Yeah, dude. That's how no I met him. No way. I, yeah. I'm sure I knew that's that. That's how I started doing comedy. But it's I the for- only reason that... I forgot. We know each other now is because of Mark. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Mark Lee was in that call with you. Yeah. The yeah. more you know. I yeah. met him. Yeah, you know. Dude, when I met him, so I was 17 or something, and this yeah. weird cult would have functions on the weekends to keep you entertained. Wasn't so it like roller skating? It would do all kinds of different shit, Friday and Saturday nights. Yeah. Everything that you can do in Let's the world. Let's make wicker hats. Sure. That kind of that'd thing. Be yeah. a thing. Whatever. But one of them, they had an 80s party. So it was an 80s dance night party. Whoa. So I got all dressed up. Uh, I was wearing white sweatpants and a white sweatshirt, an Air Jordan sweatshirt. Sick. Very cool. And a cool little flipped up hat and an old school mm-hmm. skateboard. Yep. And I went over to a couple of the guys' house. Bones Brigade's here! And Mark was, <laughs> was his very first day in the group or whatever. And he was there totally confused. And I walked in looking like that, all dumb. <clears throat> With this dumb skateboard. And I was like, what's up, man? You want to go old school skateboarding? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, great. And then we went skateboarding. I didn't know what I was doing. And he was like, I was like fucking around. And he really was skateboarding. And I was like, oh, you're cool. And then we got into his car. And there was all this shit all over the ceiling. And I was like, oh, what happened? And he goes, so sometimes like when I get all fucked up, I'll like cover my hands in glass like i'll put them at tape and then put broken glass all over kumite and then like yeah he's like oh yeah he's like but then i'll jerk off Uh, ah what and he's like and that's like blood and shit no Ah. and i was Ah. like what get out of here and he's like, Stop. no, dude, a can just exploded in here. He's like, that's just a soda. And I was like, yeah, you're the best. Yeah. <laughs> but you were used to so many awful stories yeah, from all I these mutants. Yeah, I was like, mutants. what the fuck? Oh it blew my, my mind. So I was like 17, and we were like, you're my best friend. Holy shit. And then we've been pretty much best friends ever since. So he was a drug addict? Like no, you were? he didn't belong there. No? He didn't last very long. Yeah, but you would always say, I shouldn't have been there. I was a good guy. <laughs> I didn't deserve to be. I was just drinking paint at the dock. He, he smoked weed twice, and his parents were like, yeah. "We need to get you somewhere he, where they can lay hands on you and pray for you, because you have invited the devil into your soul." Mm-hmm. Mark, we heard that bit you're doing with all the neighborhood kids, where you tell them you're jerking off with broken glass. <laughs> you can't have that anymore, Mark. Yep, you got to go hang out with this little guy. No, you're Mark. Totally mental. Yeah, this guy's gonna be your handler and make sure that you don't. <laughs> 
eat any more glass. <laughs> I think, I don't know the situation, but he didn't need to be there. Mark's a very fine person. He's a very normal, developed human. Yeah. Is I he like a marine that. biologist now or something? No, he's a, at, well, he went to school to be an atmospheric meteorologist. So the well, lamest was, of all of them? That was close. Uh, is that the lamest <laughs> that of all of so them? That sounds so stupid. <laughs> what? Atmosphere science? Yeah. What's in the air, man? <laughs> <laughs> smells like spring. <laughs> Here's your bachelorette. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like spring. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. No, oh, dude. the cum trees are in bloom. All, Very good, professor. That's what all <laughs> weathermen are. Or atmospheric meteorologist. So he wants to be a weatherman. Yeah, he would have been. That was the original weather plan. person. He would have. He would have gone viral. He would have been so funny. Wouldn't about he have been? It. That yeah. was the. He was like, I'm going to do David Letterman in reverse. I'm going to go from comedy to weatherman. <laughs> that was his plan. But isn't he older than you? Yeah, by a few years. Weird. But you were like his big buddy when you he got into rehab. What? <laughs> you were in rehab before him. Yeah. So you had more years of cuckoo cuckoo clock. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But then he came in and you kind of like showed him the ropes. I guess kept him from getting butt fucked or whatever <laughs> happened in there. You gotta pick a no you gotta pick a crew. No, 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 yeah. no. You gotta pick a crew for protection. <laughs> yeah, no, it was none of that. I picked him to butt fuck him. And I butt fuck. He yeah, was, you he made was him, my bitch. You made yeah. him hold your pocket. Uh -huh. Exactly. Get over here, you tall bitch. You like the air exactly. so much? Get over here, <laughs> How about you the air lanky, down there. <laughs> you lanky little bastard. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mark, what were you gonna say? What did he end up doing? Oh, I he ended up working for Facebook and then Amazon and all these other things because it turns out he's like a fucking genius. Total sellout. Yeah, he's a uh, he's very very uh, good with like for fun a while ago just for fun he was building a computer program to like say who's got him to have <laughs> to like do some sort of. Uh, ba basically, uh, what if Mark took you into his laboratory? <laughs> and he was like, "Gentlemen, I haven't talked to you in about seven years, but I want to show you my life's work." Uh, Emily, come in here. Identified. She's got him. She had him more in the past. <laughs> she still has them to some degree. That would be. Creech, in come in here. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke starts coming out of it. She's had them since she was nine. <laughs> Her back is wrecked. <laughs> She's not going to live long. <laughs> Mark, you genius. You've done it again. Cut them off. <laughs> Chop them. Does not compute. <laughs> Cannot recommend cutting them off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Humans are friends. <laughs> First, Titties are friends. First, do no harm to <laughs> them. <laughs> if they've got them, preserve them. <clears throat> what do you got? You got a note from Mark? I was just... So he doesn't like... You know, he hasn't done comedy in who knows how long. He barely did comedy. Sure. He was more of a song and dance man. Yeah, he was uh, something. He did he would something hump up there that was gum into fun. the crowd, and we would yeah. all be like, well, he's the funniest one. <laughs> <laughs> he was a fucking animal. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> he said that he wrote a screenplay that uh, just recently that was like all about farts and farting, and I was like, this is so stupid, and I didn't really even respond to it. And then he said <laughs> something back. It said... Dude, I bought the domain name HollywoodSuperAgent.com. I can't believe it was available. <laughs> and then he goes on to tell me that he's going to do all this stuff to build up some legitimacy for his fart screen, for his fart uh, movie, movie that he's written. So he's yeah. trying to get some behind the scenes <laughs> build up from Hollywood Super Agent. He's just doing this on his spare time. This is his Windy City Heat. Yeah, when this he's not deciding if it's cloudy or not cloudy all day. What he does for fun while he's also like has two kids and a wife and he continues to be brilliant all over the place. I love that. Dang old. Yeah. I don't think I've seen him since Built to Spill at Mishawaka. Oh, goodness gracious. That was we didn't know he was going to be there, right? Ago. Yeah. He was there. He was there. It's crazy you had smart friends. It's very weird. All my friends were dumb as hell. Continue my, to be. All my friends from <laughs> all my friends from back in the day, like, ended up continuing to be very cool. They're either well, dead or doing cool uh, things, Cody. or oh, fuck they live Cody. in both realms, like McMillan. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Sorry, we couldn't save you, Cody. Yeah, the sizzle. Well, I'm glad. I mean, I'm not glad that he's passed, but they made room for someone else. <laughs> Me. Yeah, you all snuck of a sudden, in. You were desperate for a new we were friend. Full of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you guys oh, yeah. were nuts to butts in the friendship pod. Yesterday, we, we said, I said how uh, I befriended Bobby first and then Sharpie. And then the two of you were like, this dude, Sam, 
is pretty cool. And I was like, eh, I've met him. Not a fan. <laughs> you hated me. I didn't I was hate the, you. I was a cooler, younger you. I didn't hate you. You did. You actively were mean to me. No. Yeah. I don't think I was. You had swastika forehead at that thing. And that Halloween like, party. Yeah, and I remember that it. costume party. <laughs> yeah. Not that thing. <laughs> <laughs> who knows what it, Who knows what was going on, but you definitely had a swastika on your forehead. Well, what I'm saying is I met you at the swastika event. That was when you fell I in love with me. I was protesting. No, I did. I was like, this guy's cool. He's on the edge. He's the bad boy of uh, the swastika. Um, finally, <laughs> finally, this wants to get some edge to it. They're back. Yeah. And I remember you being like, doing your thing you do to people you don't care about. Where you're like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, I'd be I, like, Hey, I'm Sam. You'd be like, Oh yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. No, I, I wrote when, when you moved to Vegas in 2016, I wrote about how you didn't go to the Squire cause you saw that a lot of it was bullshit and not really worth it. Right. And you were doing improv. And Which, so I was like, all right, I don't really know. I, you know, I'll, I'll get to know this guy. And then you had your day job. So you didn't do the Squire very often. You did comedy works, uh, on a Tuesday and then wouldn't go to the Squire. So we didn't hit, uh, get to know each other as quick as me and Bob, me and Bob both went every Tuesday. You guys were ring rats. We walked, you were buckle bunny. <laughs> we, that's right. We walked, <laughs> we walked, uh, you were the, at the radio trying to change to, someone's lead. Walked the same direction to go home. Both had uh, weird relationships with our girlfriends. He stayed with Kiki for a while, dude. Even Bobby, though he was like, "I don't think she likes me," and yeah. I was like, "You got to get out of there." Yeah, dog. Like she uh, she put cigarettes out on my chest. Yeah, he but didn't, that's love. But she's <laughs> she's really pretty. He's the youngest of five girls. He didn't know what love was. You know, just used to being treated poorly by women. Yeah, uh -huh. being told to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> shut up. I'm going to fucking dangle a loogie over your forehead while you name 10 candy bars. <laughs> oh, I'm hard, Kiki. <laughs> Kiki, let me get freaky and you're geeky. I remember him saying that a lot. <laughs> Bobby buried me the worst of anyone ever. Yeah. When we went up to the mountains and he walks into the room and there's 12 people that he knew that were friends with Kiki. Mm -hmm. And he just goes on and he's like, you guys know Kiki? And they were like, yeah, she sucks. And he was like, yeah, she does. And then he just badmouthed this woman <laughs> for like a half hour. Mm -hmm. And then I had to go up there and try and do comedy after they just had like a fucking, you know, inside awareness joke. party. Yeah, aware, <laughs> inside joke fest, 2016. <laughs> and he was all cocky afterward. He's like, <laughs> made you look bad, fat man. <laughs> made you look bad? Yeah. Oh, that's not very nice of Bobby. Well, you know how he talks. <clears throat> Rude. Made you wear it. Yeah. Rude boy. Yeah, he made me wear it. <laughs> yeah, and I wore it so hard. Mm, was I mean, I had to get more fabric, so it fit me better. <laughs> was that? <laughs> I loved wearing it. Mountain I slept Sun? No, oh, it was Hot somewhere. Stand up no, Mount I have no idea. It was somewhere in the mountains. Uh, uh, in it the wasn't mountain. in Boulder, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Nathan. It's hey, hey, Sam. Thanks for being here in our permanent podcast studio in San Diego. I wish. Um, I want to ask you something. You know what's the worst uh, genocide, discrimination, ch infanticide, child hunger. No, I would say peeling your sweaty dick off your sticky <laughs> leg. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I wasn't thinking about that, but that is the worst. You wish you could go take a shower, but you work at a real job. What? <laughs> this, this copy is fucking mean. But you work at a real job and have to spend the whole day in your own personal swamp. You know about it. Oh, I live in a personal swamp. <laughs> yeah. I'm the fucking bog witch of <laughs> Ball Rot Lake. <laughs> you don't have to live like this anymore. Keep cool this summer with stop, sheath under. Stop the insanity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you do not want to blow your head off? Wait, you know what? If you don't want to, get some sheath underwear. That'll bring her back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did your son die after Skankfest? <laughs> <laughs> and, all, and all that's keeping you going is Sam Talent clips on YouTube? <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this innovative underwear has two pouches. One for your... Ween. And one for your... Wolf whistles. Balls. <laughs> it keeps everything separate so you can get some airflow down there. Finally. The Rock has come back to Cleveland. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, baby. It even comes it's a packed in... house down there. No, it is. Yeah, there's butts and seeds. <laughs> it even comes in cool patterns to keep you looking great and feeling comfortable. Um, I wear sheath underwear only now. I'm wearing them right now. Yeah, I wear them constantly because I'm a fucking slut for free gear. That's no bullshit. I'm yeah. wearing sheath and I like them. I'm wearing this shirt and sheath underwear were free. Yeah. That's not just why I wear them, though. I wear them because I like them. 
Sure. I love sheath underwear. Yeah, no, they're real good. Top of the line stuff. Uh, veteran owned. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean. Yeah, veteran owned. That's what gets us moving the needle. I have a Punisher flag on my Subaru Impreza <laughs> and sheath underwear around my cock and ball asshole yeah. neighborhood. Uh, whenever I drive by the black neighborhood to just let them know that I'm packing, I'm wearing sheath underwear every time. And I hold that thing out the window and say, <laughs> it's not just you. It's not just you. <laughs> I, that's what sheath makes me want to do <laughs> that's what sheath said yeah <laughs> if you you know what chris listen to this yeah if you don't have sweaty balls maybe you have some sweaty boobs now you're talking in, in that case <laughs> sheath has some comfortable and breezy sports bras for you look if you've got them you're not really supposed to hold them down you know you're not supposed to wear a bra that's what I you're say. You're supposed to wear a bra. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you live <laughs> in my jurisdiction, you're not allowed to. But I know medical science says you got to keep those things supporting so they don't drag down and hang low like the sweet chariots that you are. Um, this isn't going to get us any more money. So <laughs> get a sheath sports bra. My wife wears one. Nice. And I go home and I pull it down and I just dump out the left one. And I say, oh, Pokemon. <laughs> Look at this Pokeball. Catch Snorlax. <laughs> and I whack myself in the face with it. Um, so yeah, Sheath Rocks, sincerely. I know we're all having some fun here, but it's the only undies I wear anymore. Um, so yeah, go to sheathunderwear.com and use code Chubby, C-H-U-B-B-Y, uh, to get 20% off your first order, plus Sheath Underwear is 100% money back guarantee, because if you're like me, you blow through Grundies real hard. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you wear one and then throw them away. Yeah. That's how crazy your downstairs is. Yeah, well, I have to. It's flooded. So go to sheathunderwear.com, use code CHUBBY to get 20% off your first order, plus Sheath Underwear's 100% money back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com, promo code CHUBBY. Get Sheath Underwear, support the show, support your balls, and now let's fuck each other. <laughs> let's take these sheaths off. Yeah, that's the only time I do is comics, when I, Comics I on sheath. I... I <laughs> <laughs> just dropped everybody's sitting in those nice chairs but their pants and underwear are at their ankles <laughs> back to the show <laughs> bobby's life was so cool i was always like bobby's the coolest because he would go to that like uh vine street mountain sun party remember they had that fourth of july party buddy one of the greatest moments of my life happened at one of those parties. oh what come happened? on dish okay so was it, is it a squish dish here's the th no Hey, if you're driving, pull over. <laughs> Sharpie's about to get us all hard. And if you're not, start driving. Yeah. If you're driving, just keep so, driving and road jack. Also, I don't know if you guys heard pull me Lund. last night ask the crowd if they were sitting down, but mm -hmm. that really made me laugh. <laughs> that, that is funny. <laughs> Brace yourself. Are you guys sitting down? <laughs> Garrett was yeah, like, I don't know. He's kneeling. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> um, I'm a chair. <laughs> So they had a that Vine Street pub. I don't know if they still exist. I hope they do. God bless them. They're not open. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. They uh, would have this awesome party, the 4th of July party, and then they also had one in the winter mm -hmm. for all their employees where they would take them up to A Basin. Which to, one? A Basin. You want to narrow it down? The, <laughs> that's what it's called? Keep talking. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> Just because you, you don't get it? <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I do get it. You didn't get it. No, I do get it. <sighs> this is why we're the best. No. Oh. <laughs> How about when he thought <laughs> that you... I fell for him doing the who I'm not yeah. under my hat? Like what? He's the so fuck? dumb. He thought that's how dumb I was <laughs> that I fell for him being in the pool and then putting his hat on his hand and then standing out of my line of sight. You know, just because I went along with it, he was like, <laughs> I, I got him. I thought like a child. Yeah, it was, was insane. Me. Yeah, it was. But I'm not so stupid <laughs> that I you, don't know hand, what's going on. The, 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 you had a wet bucket hat that you put your hand inside of, so it just draped itself <laughs> over your hand. It looked like your head had turned into a hand. It didn't look like a head That's at scary. All. That's a spooky prank. It was, it was spooky, all right. Anyway, so you're at a nondescript base. Yeah, somewhere in the mountains at just some ski resort. At a a basin. A basin. Yeah. A basin is the basin. They have an area on one of their parking lots that they call the beach, where mm -hmm. everybody just sets up and kind of you can 
put up tents and little shit and party all day there and ski and come down to it, whatever. So they have that whole area reserved, blah, blah, blah. So we're all hanging out there. Bobby took me one day as a uh, one year as his guest. Uh, so we were hanging out and partying there. And they had those awesome hot wings. Do you remember the hot God, wings? Oh, right. dude. Yeah. So good. How could I not? Exactly. Well, they do... Huge. Hot wing toss. Huge. Each year. They do the hot wing toss. Mm-hmm. And they're like, who wants to volunteer to do the hot wing toss? And I was like, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I'm a stranger here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But it sounds Time fun. to make an impact. <laughs> yeah. Exactly right. <laughs> and they say, okay, well, we're going to throw... A hot wing from tongs, like straight off the barbecue, yeah. straight off the barbecue. Oh, and tongs. shit. Hot, hot, hot. And we're going to throw yeah. it. It doesn't get hotter. To you, and you have to try to catch it in your mouth. And oh, my like, God. I'm down. Awful. Flat or wing? Uh, wing. Okay. And uh, Flat or drumstick. And I, drum. <clears throat> I was like, okay. Or yeah, drumstick, whatever. The big one. Uh, and I said, okay. I was pretty drunk, I should mention. Yep. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do a down and out. So I made it, I'm doing it. I'm not going 10 feet. I just turned, I was like, okay, and turned, told him I'm doing a down You ran and a slant? <laughs> yes. So Whoa. I ran a slant. I went out, <laughs> turned right, kept going. He launched it. I was running full dive. No. I'm not kidding. You can call fucking Bobby. Laid out. I don't want to talk to him. Full dive. Laid out. In my mouth. Oh, slid on my face. No. In why the don't snow. We, why don't we know Incredible. This? Best mo- I got up. I was like, oh, the whole group cheers. Everybody's running over. The dude who throwed is like, nobody's ever even been fucking close. <laughs> Not even, ah. No. Hugs. It was amazing. I dove. What the fuck? Got it. It was the best. I, I don't know that story about you, and you don't know the me getting arrested at the zoo story. Unbelievable. That's nuts. Yeah. All these many years later, we're still figuring out new reasons to love each other. <laughs> yeah, we still, yeah. Or we we had something recently in the last that's few days that we didn't crazy, know. fucking crazy, Chris. Yeah. That's Did you get laid? Nuts. I mean... I don't remember. You didn't need to after that. Yeah, (laughs) I did did right then. Yeah, Yeah, you came in front of 400 people. (laughs) And I I did too. That was the thing. I had a highlight at one of those. We, I was wearing like shorts, but then every every hour we would cut another inch off my shorts. Yep. Were you yep. there for that? I was at that party. Yeah, <laughs> that was a great one. Yeah, and that and that very pretty Mm -hmm. small woman Mm -hmm. who somehow I bedeviled into a night of Mm lovemaking later on. Mm -hmm. She was cutting them. That's and lovely. she kept feeling up. And, oh, there it is. Mm-hmm. You know <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. with the scissors, she was yes. cutting your dick. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> ow, <laughs> ow. Well, no, she would have to like Mark. feel to see where the wangus was to not cut it. Whoa, oh, yeah. shit. You know who else did that to me? About? What? Oh man, I know who you're talking about. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, not yeah. the other one. No, I, yeah, not H. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. Got but it. then there was also, uh, what the fuck? Judy Lee Garricky did that to me, too. Felt up your going? Yeah, because she was helping me make short shorts. <laughs> and she was like, oh, there it is. And it was like way too high up. And I was like, yeah, it sucks right now. <laughs> like, it's, that's not a flattering length. Because she kept like looking for it. She was like looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and I was like, yeah. yeah it's Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was a deer pile. And I was like, well, we're not this isn't going to happen. Wow, this is not going to happen. Well, now. that's not fair. That's not how it works. It's not like it's supposed to just be like out all the time. Remember what you said about <laughs> girls with their pussies? No. <laughs> they expect us to be hard at the drop of a hat. Meanwhile, they lick their fingers and touch their shit and it's certified fried gold. <laughs> I didn't say yes, that. Did. <laughs> I swear to God, you did. Because I was telling you that I was having like difficulties <laughs> lovemaking with this person. And you're like, don't beat yourself up, man. They just want us to it's be hard bullshit. at the drop of a fucking pin. <laughs> it's bullshit. But they lick their fingers, touch their shit, and it's certified fried gold. <laughs> <laughs> this was back when it was Horny Lund. Yeah. When it was 23 hour party person in one mm. hour of like. <laughs> Phenomena. The one hour I wasn't killing it. Yeah. I was just doing a little dance in the dark. I mean, yeah, that was when you would skid him a rinky dinky dink. Oh, boy. God damn. The night we mooned you. Oh, man. That was a full. You were so pissed. Everybody everybody had fun except for you that night. That was a Mm -hmm. legendary night. We all caught hot wings to the mouth that night. Dude, that's so wild. (laughs) That is in the snow. It was a good one. In the friggin' snow. In the friggin' mm-hmm. snow. Even better. Heat coming off, just, you know, smoke coming and off of that snow, hot so wing. you don't, you're not worried about diving. It's going to be no. okay. You're going to slid on my face. Yeah. It was incredible. That rocks, dude. 
I love it. What the fuck? What? When did I get this? Your fake <laughs> fake watch isn't working? Yeah, what's crazy? <laughs> 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 it's crazy. <laughs> Oh man, this has been so much fun uh, hanging out with the three of us. The four of us, obviously, is always great, but it's like once a year at High Plains. Mm -hmm. Hard for all four of us to be in the same room. So we invited uh, Bobby, but he has to study for the bar. When we yeah, and we saw Bobby a month ago in Denver, and that ruled. Now this rules. Ugh, because a lot of times uh, it's me and you know on the road, it's been me and Sam, and then a local host that we Mm -hmm. that he might know, but I don't. That neither of us knows. That we get Mm -hmm. to know. And, you know, that has a lot of different outcomes, a lot of sure. different uh, experiences with some rando. It's great when it's great. Uh, but yeah. I got to say, people say, what do you think it is to be successful in stand up? And it's this it's having the boys in San Diego, it's going to the pool, mm-hmm. it's knowing our weaknesses and our strengths, it's knowing that we've been in the car for 20 minutes. Lon doesn't want to go to the beach anymore. Let's not go to the beach. I mm-hmm. get that. Dude, that was such a relief because we tried. And uh, I was getting frustrated. I was like, it's going to be so much. It's good. There's going to be so many people. It's a Saturday in San Diego. We're effed. And before we even... Uh, before you could even file a complaint. Up, yeah. Well, because I knew... Like, I had a great time at Santa Monica Pier. Got in the water. Wonderful. So I didn't want Sam to not have that. Uh, and then, pretty quick, after he My says, a movie. After he says we're going to bail, he's like, we could go, we could try to get in the water tonight. And I was like, oh, my God. I love this man. <laughs> yeah. Well, luckily, Chris was navigating us. And it was crazy that you took us to the rocky cliffs of Dover, where the water was 40 feet off of a jagged dr- <laughs> drop. And you were like, oh, I've been here before. This well, is perfect. And then we get out of the car still. <laughs> what was going on? Let's walk through this. I'll take you through what happened. Please help me, because it was cool looking. But yeah, the place oh, and where we, we you were. were, you were, sc- he was scared of getting local zone lead, and then that's what was here. That was tagged on like a a road, <laughs> a roadblock, like a closed road sign, local only. I was like, oh god, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get jumped. <laughs> the only thing worse would have been local age. We're gonna get a skateboard to the head. Yeah, we were gonna get. Um, we're going to get like pineapple hats put on our head and then they're going to make us dance with our shirts off. <laughs> <laughs> Locals only. What's, Follow our customs. What's her name? Carmen Miranda? Yeah. Carmen Morales. Growing up <laughs> in the 90s, as I did, you guys were older at this point. High school. And some of our listeners <laughs> might not know this. Yeah, you were teaching at that juncture. Um, every movie in the 90s where kids would go to the beach, whether it was Surf Ninjas or uh, what's the one you guys like? High, high Point Robbers? Point Break. Point Break. <laughs> Um, surf ninja <laughs> surf robbers <laughs> yeah surf any up. surf based uh, mm-hmm. cinema it was always you would show up to the beach and you'd have like that stripe of uh, suntan lotion on your nose and a big hat and sunglasses and then some like <laughs> jacked tanned teen who had like rider strong you know butt swoop bangs would be like locals only pig <laughs> you know <laughs> and then like go back to ohio yeah. i'm from mm-hmm. colorado yeah. even worse <laughs> yeah. you, you like the mountains well, we're gonna be mountain you tonight <laughs> at midnight be here and you're like but you just said i had to leave They're like, well yeah but come back in like it's eight confusing, hours confusing but yeah. we're in control <laughs> yeah <laughs> those are the rules we didn't make them but your legs we didn't make either and we're gonna break them if you're not here tonight <laughs> exactly midnight <laughs> <laughs> And then a bunch of other dudes start barking. Yep. And I just was like, I remember my mom taking me to Florida when I was very little and being like, I don't want to go to the beach. We're going to get locals only. And she was like, glug, 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 glug. Life's a beach if you're a blanket. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Take that pineapple off your head and put some rum in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway, yes, we didn't get locals only, but it was crazy. Please walk us through you taking us to a nondescript cul-de-sac and then okay. saying, "This is perfect. I've been here before." Well, when the water was behind here's the broken situ- glass. <laughs> here's the situation. <laughs> Break in case of getting locals only. <laughs> Here's the situation. It's just one of those shirts you put on that has a bikini girl on it. <laughs> I, have a, I have a feeling you'll believe me. Okay. I have I been there do. before. I met my uh, fiance's best friend there. We met for uh, a sandwich. We, we were met for a sandwich somewhere else and we brought them there and ate. So I said, oh, perfect. I've been here before. What was not perfect was that I did not remember 
that there was no beach that we went into. You didn't we get into the sat water. On you, the rock. You had a nice time and watched the ocean. In that it was area. in the fucking winter. It was in the middle of winter. I see. So I was like, oh, we've been here. I've yeah. been to this spot. This is a good spot. But I forgot that we didn't even get into the water. We just sat there. Do you really think that that was the? Those were the steps that you went down. There's Who knows? probably a lot of those. There's yeah. probably a lot of steps that look like that. There's probably twenty miles of that. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> probably true. Yeah. What I did I do, thought, I thought that I was like, "There's no way," unless you remember locals only. <laughs> well, I remember that the sign. <laughs> I got I got curb stomped right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what I did do, though, is immediately when we were trying to leave, is that it was going to take a long time to go to the cool beach. So I was like, fuck that. And I just picked another beach. And that's really where I made the mistake was when you guys put me in charge. Mm. So yeah, well, my yeah, first, it's our fault. Yeah, yeah. my first mistake Passing the was by saying, you got it, and me taking charge. Yeah. I should have said, don't do that. Yeah. I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm we should have known you're stupid. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. Mm -hmm. Hey, I think my hands are feet. <laughs> Surprise! I'm dumb as hell. <laughs> Still, yeah, it was nice that we bailed, went to the pool. That was fun. Did pool stuff. <laughs> you tried to yeah confuse me and thought that I was as dumb as Susu and that I was, was falling for it. I got to ride <laughs> you guys. Where'd Sam like, go? <laughs> I literally thought. He, I said, "Where'd Sam go?" When I revealed myself, along. you went, "Whoa!" Like you like. Oh right, jump. My reaction. I, like, oh, right. I, I worked you. <laughs> to which I said, "He is an actor. He's Mr. Ranch. I'm an actor after yeah, all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I must have gone." And yet Sam was like, whoa I'm, whoa, I'm getting him. Yeah, I was like, holy shit, that worked? He's on the hook. <laughs> I was like, I thought that was the dumbest thing I've ever done, but it worked. Maybe I, I am. I also got to ride you guys like surfboards. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I tried to do a Poseidon ride on each of you like <laughs> yeah. dolphins, yeah. which was pretty cool, but I didn't get to do it. Now it was, I get I why tried. you said Poseidon. Yeah, yeah, I was trying. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were like your war manatees. Exactly. As you rose out of hell exactly. to fight Ares or whatever. It was very hard to stand on top of both of you at the same time, but I kind of got close. Mm -hmm. I got my yeah. my foot on your back, my foot on your leg, and mm -hmm. we made it for a second. Well, you just surfed me regular. You actually did, did a hang 10. I did to do a hang 10 on your Your feet were tent. on my head. <laughs> I got both feet on your head and I hung all 10 of my toes off the top. Yeah. How about the, hang the, 10? The, first, the first time he got in? Was by, by first stepping on your chest while, you were, while you were in the water. <laughs> he just <laughs> extreme walked off off of your fucking also, hairy chest. Yesterday we went to the pool. Oh, Sam God. and I. I jacked it uh, in while the you were jacking it. <laughs> yeah, of course. Now, what did I do? But you jacked. jacked it. I didn't jack. Come on, you were wow. like, I want to stay back. I'm too sunburned. I was so I was so sunburnt, man. Anywho, it sounded like a nightmare to do anything outside. Sam and I went and got in the pool. And there was a family in the pool. That family consisted of a, a dad, daddy. a son, and then a much younger son. Very young son. And uh, we're talking maybe, I'm saying a teen, maybe mm -hmm. young teen for the one. Yeah. And then the other one, five? Mm -hmm. Something like that, maybe? One definitely had pubes. He had pit hair. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And the older boy. I wasn't, I wasn't checking that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh, they're playing some games, doing whatever. Uh... And at one point, the littlest one got pretty close to me. He was swimming with his head down, and I was like, whoa. So I kind of just moved out of the way. I guess I'll go fuck myself. But he yeah. kept coming at me. He like, I was like, oh, he was swimming at me on purpose. He barnacled you. That was very weird. Mm -hmm. And then he like touched me, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. and moved away. And then he did it again. Yeah. He swam at me. And then, like, kind of held on to me. Yeah. And I was like, ha, 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 okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> and it was... It was very bizarre behavior. How long? His dad was like, some people don't want to play. And it's like, that's not what's going on right now. Your Dude. son is attached with, uh, to a shirtless man. Your son wants human contact yeah. Yeah. that you're not providing. I'm talking, he did it for a full <laughs> 10 seconds before his dad said anything. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know how long 10 seconds of a, another yeah. person's child just... Yeah, my kid's not even getting anywhere near somebody like you. No, Dude, are you yeah. kidding me? I could have been doing anything. lines coming off of you? <laughs> I could have been doing anything. There's water up here. Yeah. My hands, who knows what they were doing. Right. Yeah. Poseidon's uh, down there. And he, <laughs> he's naughty. <laughs> yeah, no, that's... Uh, it was crazy. That's yeah, a it was, lot. It was yeah. very bizarre. To expect wow. you to just, like, play along instead of being like, 
You made me wear you gonna, it. You're gonna, you're yeah. gonna, you're you made gonna, me wear it something. You had to wear it. <laughs> you were wearing it and all day. You wore it yesterday. at the pool. <laughs> the wore it last night. Wore it today. <laughs> yeah, I hated I can't that. Get it off. I hated that his dad didn't intervene. The older boy just watched and nodded, like, been there, cool. brother. Yeah, at least he's not touching me for a minute. You've walked a thousand miles in my shoes right now. <laughs> yeah. And then we did see retribution today, though. Yes. Because the little boy was standing on the older boy's shoulders. And the Same pool. older boy was holding the hands of the little boy. And then he said, all right, ready? On three, one, two. And then on three, just yanked the little boy face first into the water. <laughs> so, <laughs> so loud. <laughs> so hard. And then me and Chris laughed for like 40 seconds. It was awesome. It was incredible. Wait, that was the same family? That was yeah, the crew. That little girl. boy uh, who went face plant into the yeah. asphalt. <laughs> 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 Remember that song? <laughs> <laughs> I Man. don't. I don't. <laughs> Shit. I think it was Heaven is a Half Pipe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that anyway. song. Anyway. <laughs> I uh, also got to <laughs> feel Sharpie's balls on my back today, which we oh, didn't talk yeah. about. But that's Remember when I was like, oh, I'm okay. Yeah. You were like, are you all right? He, we were playing, you know, the fool, the, the football catch game, mm -hmm. and he was going <laughs> to jump over, uh, but you were going to try to get onto my shoulders. Yeah, I was trying to piggyback myself on so i thought i was supposed to go under and you were going to leap over right. and catch but so when i ducked uh, and you tried to mount instead hmm. you just dragged your taint and balls down my back in the water <laughs> this is true and i felt them through your shorts and cool. was like oh yeah we're all having fun <laughs> Found yeah. Them. yeah there they are <laughs> well, <you> got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah last night well, on stage, boogie, last you know? night on stage i was completely gorked we had a nice time Last 15 minutes of the set last night were uh, confusing. You got gorked. I got gorked. I gorked my own chode. Couldn't tell what was real and what was fantasy. Well, I lied and said that about the... Th I, the he said they might be mushrooms or they might be THC. He wasn't sure. They, it was a 10 milligram THC that that cool guy Nuglord gave us. And... I ate it right before I went on stage. I showed you, I think. I yeah. Like, <laughs> I said, no, this, uh, Sam, no, your you're future. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. You're amazing. Oh, yeah, that's what he said. You said, right? <laughs> no, my hero. No, no you're a legend. There goes my hero. <laughs> you're, on, you're on such a roll. <laughs> Don't risk it. Some of these people are here to see you. Most of them won tickets. Make a memory. <laughs> yeah. Um, some, of their, <laughs> some of their birthdays are in August. Make it count. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was 15 minutes towards the end. Uh, I was I was aggressively stoned and what's well, good had to fight my way out of that paper bag. It's so, good wow. that your act can be literally whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like it got derailed by you explaining that that happened, mm. having a little fun with it, and then being all over the place because that's normal. Mm. So yeah, the only thing that would have made it obvious is if you would have like slowed way down, like lost your train of thought a bunch, like, right. and you didn't. <coughs> You didn't do that, no. so it was good. We got through it, man. You rode the wave, man. Yeah, but then afterward, I had to sell merch, and people would be like, I saw you at Skankfest with my son, and he passed away, and I'm just like, what? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> the, the baby no longer round? <laughs> There's a bunch of dead kids. There's not what, <laughs> what happened to the baby? A bunch of kids have died in the last like eight months since Skankfest. Yeah, <laughs> well, this one one person last night was like, I was there with my son or my brother or something, and now he passed away. Jesus, Damn. but you were his favorite one, and I was like, oh, how do you spell Mike? <laughs> <laughs> how many books do you want? One for you and one for your son who's alive. You gonna put it on his grave? <laughs> Read him a chapter every day. What was that guy's name? Spicolin? <laughs> From the movie? <laughs> you keep sounding like Harry Carey. What was his name? <laughs> what was that, that classic 80s film with Sean Penn was the rock and roll skateboarder? <laughs> rock and name? roll skateboarder. What was his name? Spikemon? <laughs> I can't remember. I used to watch that movie all the time. <laughs> it's that bad. He Isn't skateboarded bad? on Isn't the ocean. It's not good. But it's that bad. <laughs> Got away from me. <laughs> Foul ball. As soon as I pointed it out, you, you lost. Of it. course, that's what happened. <laughs> uh, yeah, you should, I, you I blew it. Let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> let him cook. Let him cook. What sucks is tonight we do this. Doesn't matter if we kill. Who cares? It's another night at the office. And tomorrow, you go, you go, yeah. I fly. 
And I don't know when I'll see you guys again. I'll see you in 10 days or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you, I forgot. I'm moving. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm packing all the shit in our, our fucking pack mule and hitting the old dusty highway to eat asphalt for six months. I'll never see you again. <laughs> I mean, you just said six months. So yeah, but when will I be. see you? September? When will I for see sure, September. you again? Great. <laughs> Great. When will well, your balls touch my back you know, once again? When will Here's a child thing. climb you like a ladder again in my presence? <laughs> if I'm pretty much... <laughs> oh my gosh. I felt this in this chair and that's... We're not even not connected. Real. Rock-a-doodle. That was uh, psychosomatic. Out of consane. What? <laughs> you didn't feel it. Yes, I did. You couldn't have. That's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you didn't. It's, it's an illusion. I just had pasole. After being in the pool all day. Was it good? It was too yeah, hot? Yeah, it was good. Too hot? No, because I had leftover salsa, and you were like, yeah, we'll eat all these, dipshit. So I felt like I had to eat them all. You, The lady said, do you want some salsa? And she said they had, I think, four kinds. And you said, we'll take a smattering of salsa, the least helpful thing you could have said. Also, she doesn't know what that word means. We'll, She's have, a, we'll have a cornucopia, please. We'll Can we have a veritable menagerie we'll of salsa? We'll take the world tour of salsa. <laughs> take me around. I'll buy the ticket if you'll give me the ride. We'll, we'll go on a magic carpet ride of salsa flavors and spice This levels. ketchup is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it was... Ground ball. She, she must have hated that. <laughs> yes, I'll be right back with your smash. You know of salsa. She didn't hate it. I tipped her five bucks. No one has ever tipped her before. <laughs> she ate. She it. loved me. Mm, she I'm said, glad. "El Rey, El Rey." I'm glad we ate there. That was good. It was good. It was good. Uh, t- yeah, too much salsa. But yeah, you burned your mouth. It was nice to go back to the days of me not being able to finish my food and just. And we are right it, there, and then <laughs> circling it like the, sharks yeah, in her most right ac- I mean, you did not. You certainly didn't wait for me to let you know that I was done before you were like picking off of it and then you said no no no. you had a couple little pieces of meat as soon as it showed up you said absolutely you guys should have some I'm already full I don't want either I don't want either (laughs) of these things I just (laughs) ordered to fit in I ordered one you ordered one taco and a tostada and both were three times as big as I would have guessed thank you so you knew you weren't gonna need it all you weren't gonna eat it all I also offered it to Sam immediately because his food didn't get there yet. And he was pissed. So I was trying. <laughs> he banged the table. <laughs> he banged the table and said, Gimme, gimme comida. Gimme, gimme comida. Dame comida. Donde esta mi comida? Mi gupta necesito comida. I'm gupta and restaurant. I would like to get my garbage plate, please. <laughs> Did I tell that on the pod? I don't know. Did he yesterday, Gupta and Little Gupta? I don't <laughs> <laughs> no, if he did, or nah, I don't think you did. I, I thought you did, but proudest it was, moment as an uncle. It was in the car, and it was yeah. at dinner or something. Little Susu, I had to babysit her for four hours by myself, Uncle Buck style. Yeah, and she woke up after ten minutes in her crib taking her nap. After the rest of the family went to a whitewater rafting, made her a giant pita. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come get it, little Gupta. <laughs> Little Hayabusa. <laughs> Wait, no. What's that dude's name? The, the little guy. Haganoush. What's his name? Hasbula. Hasbula. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, knew it, I knew it wasn't Haganoush, and Hayabusa was a wrestler. But yeah. Can I get to my thing? Oh, God forbid. <laughs> you don't like when somebody interrupts you nine times? Just You couldn't stop mouth, burping to just tell shitting, your story anyway. Just shitting you words out. Gas factory? You didn't Christ like almighty. that? You don't like when you get... Hit with your own finisher. You'd have to talk through a burp. (laughs) I had to sell for you. (laughs) God, that makes that that reminds me of this morning at breakfast. (laughs) I told you. You told me about the omelet truck. There were free refills that away, and it was into the water. I almost, I almost went. <laughs> I don't even. That story isn't even good. The is coffee's it? over there on the other side of those rocks, and I was like, th- "Where the ships are?" You were like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Where the dock is?" You're like, "Yeah." You go, you walk down to the dock, and then you walk to the end of the dock, and you tell them uh, how much cream and sugar you want, and then but watch out, it might be an insano dock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I didn't get it at all. I had been awake for 15 minutes, went the wrong way to get to the uh, to the lobby and and restaurant area. So I was like, oh, I'm really, 
I'm really on fire tonight, Einstein. <laughs> and then, yeah, I show up and get food, and you're like, and the, yeah, the omelets are over there, but what did you say? Might be an insane, it might, might be an insano cart. Yeah, and I just was like, uh, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris also. <laughs> I didn't take it at all. But yeah, when Chris sat down, he was like, yes, yeah, so the omelet cart's over there, and you can get omelets if you want. And I was like, well, could be, you better watch out. It could be an insano cart. <laughs> and then you just looked at me, and he said, can't wait to hear whatever bullshit you're going to say next. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't get it out. I was laughing. And then when you came, I was like, yes. Yeah, well, the omelets are over there. That was the dress rehearsal. <laughs> yeah. it, now it's showtime. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, the lights fell. A sandbag hit someone on the head. But yeah, then you showed up. And I told you, you know, the omelets are over there. But watch out. It could be an insano truck. <laughs> What did I say? What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I told you. Yeah. Like you said. I told you. <laughs> well, I just, you know, so they've been setting up these carts and you walk up and you think you're getting an omelet. <laughs> but in reality, they hold up a black and white pinwheel and it spins and then it drives you mental. <laughs> and then you said... Why did you say any of that? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, your attempt at fun this morning got extremely shot. Fuck, dude. (laughs) Sorry. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Well, I mean, it wasn't my best stuff, but... I wanted to eat that buffet before... I yeah. told you they started packing up at like eleven twenty five. So I, I knew I was di- when I got lost. I was like, "Fuck, you're blowing I it. I They're gonna take away the hot stuff. You're just gonna have cereal and fucking a banana." <laughs> but no, I got to have everything. But yeah, Susu, you were with Susu. You had to watch her. So you were telling me you've been getting older. <laughs> yes, I was with Susu. <laughs> Byron, you, Byron Allen. Allen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sam Taylor, my man Sam Taylor, man. We were talking backstage. And he was saying... He's, I understand you got a niece. You got a, uh, a, right? a three-year-old uh, you three-year-old a, niece. And sometimes... Tell me about... And, and then he, sometimes the family leaves you alone with her. Is that right? That's right, Byron, yeah. So uh, the other day was my first time uh, babysitting my niece, Susu. Uh, and, Who names uh, a kid Susu? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway. No, it's good. I'm, I'm Byron. I know. Let's oh, do, let's you, do oh you got me. I'm okay with it. You yeah. got me. Yeah. I mean, we can do a bit while I tell a decent story. It's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yes, Byron. You, you were telling me how you like to do voices. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Byron's Alan. Uh, so anyway, she. I hear like rummaging in her fucking room. That's so hard. Thank you. I hear this rummaging is, in the room. This is pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are driving me insane, cart right now. <laughs> Here's your omelet, sir. <laughs> this isn't an omelet. <laughs> you just put it in your face. She woke up. She didn't sleep. She didn't sleep. She didn't go to bed. And she crawls out of her crib. I hear her hand on the doorknob. I go to answer the door. I open it, and she looks up at me, and she says... I'm awake. Kind of like, <laughs> let's do this shit, fat boy. <laughs> you know? I'm awake. Guess what? Yeah. I'm awake. <laughs> so I let her draw all over the table with crayon, you know. I let her, like, fucking do my hair. But the big bit was I told her I was, like, I had this, like, green rubber band. And I was, like, oh, I'm Gupta, and this is my snake. And she was, like, well, I'm little Gupta. And I put the snake in the garbage. She right away did the voice. And maybe I was doing the voice a little bit before that. To, you know, I think I've been doing the voice. Maybe? You I've been doing maybe? the voice. What yeah. are you talking about maybe? Well, I've been running the voice around, Byron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I told her, I'm Gupta. This is my snake. And she took the snake. I'm little Gupta. I put these snakes in the garbage. And then she just started putting everything in the shower. That was the garbage. She took my shoes. She took my glasses, my phone. Everything went in the garbage for like a half hour. So anyway, that night... Uh, the family comes back and I'm like, hey, Susu, who are you? And she went, I'm little Gupta. And I was like, and what do you do? And she says, I put these snakes in the garbage. And then we started laughing really hard. And her mom was like, what did you do? What have you done? How did she know that voice? And I was like, I didn't teach her the voice. She's doing it on her own. So that was me uncling. I taught my wife's sister's baby. So you're going to be at the mic drop tonight in San Diego? Is that right? right, Byron. Yeah. Come on through. Uh, serviceman, drink free. 
God, we we watched the opposite of Comics Unleashed last night on Fox News. Oh my God, Gutfeld! Gutfeld. Oh my God, <laughs> you all had the dumbest name. That was so what rough. Was that one lady's name, Cat Timp. Yeah. Timp. Her head was huge. Timp yeah. is rough. She looked like she had like some autoimmune disorder where her body quit growing beneath the neck. <laughs> she was like another thing about conservatism. Um, yeah, Gutfeld was brutal. There was that one bit, though, where they put bongos in it, and I was like, all right. And you, you loved it. I'm I sorry. thought it was decent. I had a fish burrito, and I'm gassy. And I had a squirt. <laughs> and I'm fish gassy. Fish burrito now make you, you burp? You've been yeah, telling dude, me you've crazy. been eating a lot of burritos. I also slammed both of these. Red Bull and Liquid Death. I will say, you drink more liquid than maybe anybody I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, You're a liquid guy. I am. I All like your to be, money's in liquid. I like to be hydrated. I am liquid. Mm -hmm. Uh... I don't like being dehydrated. I don't like feeling dried out. Sure. And uh, I've told, <laughs> I had this shot down by Emily years ago, but I told her and My and strength's and, insane. Oh hell yeah! You're <laughs> on the that. You're, you. you're doing the Lund workout. Look at, I'm you. <laughs> yeah, except Liquid Death uses like a very small amount of aluminum. Oh, <laughs> you, you don't. No. Uh, you gotta uh, drink it before you crush yeah, it, dipshit. You, for, you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Classic uh, Sam T, but what a classic Sam T. Oh, I forgot to drink it all the way. You not how it sounds, but oh, whatever. I'm sorry. It's okay, Byron. <laughs> you still got the workout. <laughs> now, I, I told Emily years ago, I was like, you know, I eat like shit, and I drink and smoke and blah, 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 but I drink a lot of water, and I feel like that could maybe balance it out, and she was like, no, it doesn't. And I was like, good. All right. <laughs> yeah. So I'm still a uh, freight train headed straight to hell. <laughs> yeah, she shut but, you down immediately. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, yeah, I like to drink a lot of water yeah. and soda water. I don't drink a lot of soda, <laughs> and... It's like, yeah, I'm going to eat half of this candy, but I drank a bunch of water, so that's good, right? It'll just make it that's hard to cremate you. That'll be on my tombstone. <laughs> but yeah, I got to whiz constantly. And that's not pre diabetes. It makes right? me feel good. No, pre diabetic is when uh, you pee a lot, even if you don't drink a lot of fluids. Are you smelling your urine? Yeah, it's uh, usually pretty clear because of drink a lot of water. Dude, after a night of drinking beer, my piss Ooh. just smells like baked lays now. Yeah, and you love to not flush. Even I do. When, I don't flush pee. Even yeah, when even when you're, you're with your a, friends. Mm. You're, uh, yeah, I don't. We do a mellow yellow well. situation. I didn't okay. flush pee. I grew for up a long on like time. a private well. We didn't have a lot of water. We didn't have a lot sure. of money. You know. You're used to it. Yep. Well, I had to wipe with sand. <laughs> <laughs> I had to clump, as they would call it. You had a brick next <laughs> to the toilet. I had to clump it up with sand. Toilet paper. Not well. You ate all the toilet paper, so you at had my to grandpa's use house. Other toilet paper. You use other stuff. It's a precious resource. Uh, oh. Uh, here we go. For some reason, Pretty I thought, curious. oh, because we because we mentioned Catalina. We were talking about places we could go mm. for your bachelor party. Yeah, we mentioned Catalina. We mentioned uh, Brazil. You know, take the David Bory tour. Um, mm -hmm. and what he went to Brazil. Yes, he did. All right, so that's fine. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> he saw a lot of cool churches down there. <laughs> And uh, it reminded Catalina reminded me that when I was in high school, we went. What's happening over there? Are you so uh, glad? Okay, come on. my legs asleep. Oh. Come on. Sorry. Doing a cool bit over there. My legs asleep. I can't stop <laughs> jiggling. You got restless leg syndrome. Well, yeah, but you know. <laughs> all right, <laughs> save it. Uh, we went. Last night I was all stoned. He can't. He couldn't save it. I he was in bed. He couldn't wait. And you were talking about having restless leg. And I yep. said, what about restless egg? <laughs> and I lost it. Got your phone. Got my phone. Said. Wrote it down in my phone in the yeah. jackpot jokes folder. Mm -hmm. New closer. <laughs> yeah. Colon, uh -huh. the closening. <laughs> you did right, New Closer. I did. I think, I think that was it. that he was joking about that. Part. Yeah, restless. Egg. He was stoked about it. <laughs> I'll do it tonight. I yeah, have I no doubt you will. Can't somehow. wait. Slide anyway, it in. you were but saying yeah, in high school, I go to Catalina with my you something about high school. Is that right? <laughs> now you were you went to school after middle school and before college. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> and was this school like elevated? Was it at a elevation above? The rest. <laughs> Some might call it a high school. <laughs> That's right, Byron Graham. Uh, <laughs> Byron's doing the voice. <laughs> anyway, so in high school, I'm, I'm with Byron Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Comics 
Unleashed. Uh, unleashed. <laughs> Unequivocal comics. <laughs> no, I was with uh, Jessica Magro, who I've mentioned before. You my first, yo, my yeah. first real love. My first, lost my V-card to Marilyn Manson girl. Mm. She broke my heart. She cheated on me. Got fucked at the fucking swimming pool she worked at. Everybody heard about it. <laughs> yeah, no, it was awful. Quick sum up on the whole, my whole she, goddamn she life. Took, she took me and spun me around like a basketball <laughs> and then dunked me. <laughs> and then made you wear it. Yeah. Ow! Ow! What happened? I think I chipped my tooth on the arm of this thing. You bite it? I went in smiling, <laughs> and I left frowning. <laughs> now I'm crying. Ow. That hurt like a bitch. It's just gushing <laughs> blood. Just ow! ow. Podcast is over. over. <laughs> Early shows canceled. <laughs> Oh, fuck. So, yeah, uh, I'm with Jessica. We go to Catalina with our uh, biology class, I think. Um, it's fun. And we're, like, kind of bickering a couple times. And then I can't remember exactly the argument, but we got into a big argument about like the where the moon goes during the day and i'm so confident that i'm right and she's wrong i'm acting like she's a real garrett you know kind of spy <laughs> situation <laughs> cocky i'm like nudging my dickhead friends and i'm like she thinks the moon you know sets like the sun whatever it was she was right <laughs> She was correct. I'm so fucking cocky about it. I'm wrong. And she's furious because she's right. And I'm just acting like I'm just killing it. I'm like, I'm on varsity quiz. What do you do? Play three sports? <laughs> Idiot. So I blow it. She's furious at me. We like break up essentially, you know, it was that kind of big fight. She storms off. And then I hadn't thought about this in so long, but uh, on the bus ride back to Henderson from Cata uh, from L.A., whatever, yeah. uh, I cried and listened to How's It Gonna Be by Third Eye Blind <laughs> pretty much over and over. And, you know, it's like a th four minute song, but it's like a three hour bus ride home. So I listened to that song 90 <laughs> times, <laughs> bawling because of my inability to love correctly or be be wrong and admit it. Uh, it was so, and it's just so funny to think about that type of uh, youth uh, heartbreak <laughs> and to just be completely the, the reason why I was crying. It really sucked. I had that when I was like 23 with the Nina Simone song. I was driving that's, home from... That's a lot cooler than mine. No, well, no. Because <laughs> at least yours is like a contemporary pop hit. I remember driving home crying and s screaming along, She fed me tea and oranges! You know? <laughs> I was screaming along to Roxanne by fucking Nina Simone. My tooth hurts. Hey, guys, thank you for uh, supporting the Patreon. You should, if you haven't. This is a free one. Right, but you should, if you have not. Nice save. Thanks, man. <laughs> I, but you can feel, you want to feel my tooth? No. You chipped it for real? Yeah, I chipped it for real. S so funny. Yeah, it's great. I had a really hard time not laughing during your story. Because you were I was looking at him. Well, I would look occasionally, and and I just think it's very funny. I didn't have a hard himself. time not laughing during your story. <laughs> <laughs> a very easy time. Um. <laughs> Well, yeah, because you're in a bunch of pain because you're an idiot, and you thought you saw yeah. a fruit roll-up that somebody was holding next to your face, yeah, so you black, tried to ooh, take a bite. <laughs> oh, what a delicacy Byron Allen has bestowed upon me. You know you can't get that close to my face without getting in my mouth. Oh, something for me for being a good boy. <laughs> I did eat a f fruit by the foot last night in your car in the back. What? Yeah. There's a bunch of shit back there. He's yeah. just rifling through, rummaging, <laughs> yeah, rummaging fruit by around. the foot. Yeah, get a fruit by the foot. Rummaging around, seeing mm -hmm. what can what he can put in his mouth. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that he's right, sometimes he's wrong. That wasn't my fruit by the foot. Yeah, I, I ate one. Serious. So, prove me wrong. I can't, but I, I ate really something. don't know where. Uh, okay. Uh, support the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Shabby Behemoth. $5 a month will get you a, a bevy of bonus episodes. And now we're doing great videos on there. Patrick Richardson's uh, on the road with us. He's uh, putting out hilarious videos. He's here right now. He's not here right now, and that's why we're laughing. That's why. And we're having a good time. That's why we were able to sleep. <laughs> yeah. That's why I couldn't sleep. Right. Now I'm used to the snoring, and I need it. Yeah, it's like when dudes uh, sleep like uh, in the like the belly of a submarine, and then they go sleep in their own beds, and they can't sleep anymore. And they're like, boring. Yeah, they're like, God, I wish I was watching Byron Allen. Where's the giant squid? Um, so yeah, join the Patreon. <coughs> it's five bucks a month. It's awesome. Uh, we use all the money. It goes back into the videos. I'll be in uh, 
Waukesha, I'll be in Chicago the 12th, that's sold out. Waukesha, Wisconsin the 13th. The 14th and 15th, I'll be at House of Comedy Detroit. Go to those shows, and then I'm fucking abroad. I'm coming to Australia to see your dumb asses down there. I'll be in Australia all of August, and we'll be in Japan at the Tokyo Comedy Club. Crazy. The, uh, I think, 28th and 29th, that last weekend in July. I'll be um, 41. Boston? In Chicago. Coming to Boston in September. 14th and 15th of July, I'm at the Savage Henry Comedy Club mm -hmm. in... Eureka, California. The yep. website is uh, savagehenrycomedy.com. Uh, one show each night. Please come out if you're in Humboldt. Would love to see you. What about you? I ain't got shit, man. And a boy. Who knows what the fuck's happening with me? So Sharpie. I'm floating. You were telling me you didn't have shit. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. I haven't made a plan for my life. Is that a problem? No, it's no. all right. You're engaged to a real you're hot engaged. piece of tail you got some money. really young. You got some money coming. <laughs> <laughs> you got some money coming in, money in your yeah. pocket, yeah. Yeah. and a song in your heart. Uh huh. Well, uh, and you're friends with us. That's true. That's pretty good. Better yeah. than most. Yeah. Look, look at the positives for sure. You got a lot of good going on. Hey, what a friend. And I'll give you this tooth. <laughs> yeah, free tooth. I could use it, as you guys know. I got a spot for it. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye.